You guys been watching our episodes, you are for sure seeing those crazy drone shots we get. We like to use those shots to really tell the story of what the job is that we are doing and get that job some scale, especially when we're working high off the ground. We use drones when we install the signs on top of the Et Hotel for that crazy looking Meridian sunshade structure, out at Sunshacks for the install of those massive signs, and of course, out here at Camping World Stadium. And of course, we got our buddy CJ responsible for those shots. That dude is one talented guy. And when he's not filming for us, CJ gets some of the most amazing action shots of monster trucks, motocross, drift cars, and even helicopters. That dude's flying is absolutely insane. And the reason we bring this up, because not only is it cool for you guys to see that crazy drone footage, but... Well, well, yeah, it helps us to see what's going on from the ground when the guys are working up high. You know, they got the radios, but I don't want to call them every five minutes and bug them, but with CJ flying around there, we can see. And if they have any issues, I don't have to climb up there to see what it is. We can look at it and talk about it together. And a perfect example of that is our Massey refurb sign that we're going to show you guys next. We needed to remove this giant Massey sign that we built eight years ago in the old shop from the top of the Camping World Stadium scoreboard. Then we had to bring it back here to the shop, tear it all apart, repaint the letters, put all new LEDs inside of it, new faces, and put it all back together. And after we get that all done, we still got to get it back down to the stadium and get yeah. it 150 feet in the air on top of that scoreboard, all before the first nationally televised college football game of the season. We do have a lot of work ahead of us, but it all starts with getting that sign off the top of the scoreboard, which should have been a relatively easy job, but like the usual, unexpected stuff gets in the way. So are we going to tell them what really happened out in that uh, you know, demo there? Or, you know, yeah. we kind of glitz it up for TV. You I know, guess we so. No, but we were out there a couple weeks before we did the removal, and we took a look at the bolts, and they all looked really good. They're good. Eight years. Right. Eight yeah, because we uh, cold galvanized them before we took off, and they looked good. Well, we got up there and realized they were not so good. The nuts, like the block nuts, were jammed together, and it galvanizing inside the threads. We got like half of the all threads off okay, there. Okay, so how many all threads are we talking to hold, holding that thing on the Fifteen total. Fifteen total. And what, one inch. Inch and a quarter inch all and thread, a quarter and all double nutted on both sides, going through the beams, yep. steel beams on top of the scoreboard. Well. We got eight of them off with wrenches, and the other ones we had to grind the nuts off and cut the bolts out of there. So it took us a few hours longer than what we were expecting. <laughs> when you have to grind the nuts off, it's never good. No. So it took us longer than expected. Longer. And we were guys, supposed to be there at 8.30. Me and you were going to go down and see the thing come off the scoreboard yeah, and, and be gone by 10 o'clock, yeah, which but, is pretty quick. But yeah, but it never goes like turned that. Turned out, at 430, we're still sitting there <laughs> waiting. Yeah, it, to, it was a little bit more than we expected to get the off threads off of there. Yes. And also, it was like freaking 100 degrees on top of that thing, and the guys were dying, and we had to take breaks so they don't get heat stroke. You totally don't want people it. dying on top of a scoreboard out there. That would have been bad. So right. why we start talking about drones in the first place is because that's what made this such an interesting project, because Rick and I are down here on the ground. We're coming down to film and see what's going yeah. on and get that thing off the uh, off the scoreboard. However, we can't see what's going on up there, but yes, we actually can. So <laughs> CJ has new equipment mm -hmm. to where he's looking through his, what, what do they call it? Uh, the first VR, person the VR goggles yeah, or whatever, VR, yeah. right, to see yeah. everything. But we couldn't see what he's seeing. Now, this new technology he has, he has his little tablet there, yeah. and he gets that drone going, and then we're looking at the tablet, and we're seeing exactly what he's seeing. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, look how close he gets. We can see all the boats right there. It's like we're standing right there. That's really freaking awesome. And man, I'm sitting here in the car with CJ, air conditioning going, not even worrying about that 100 degrees out there that those guys are dealing with, but I can see everything that they're doing, really next level stuff. So he's 150 feet in the air and he's zooming down into the boats there and he's yeah, Two it was really amazing. The guys. <laughs> we could see everything, like how many bolts were out, how many were in, how far they were cutting through. We don't have to keep bugging the guys up there on the radio because I know that probably gets annoying. Exactly. Yeah. So we're not only getting every once in a while a verbal communication with the guys, but without messing with them so they get the work done, yeah. we're getting visual inspections of where they are with the sign. So that's an important point, I think, to bring out. We've never really used drones for that before, but I yeah. think we should be using that all the time. Yeah, in I that could see type a lot thing. of ways, you know, a lot of surveys that we could do without having to send a bucket truck out if we just got to see what the conditions are on top of the buildings, per se. You know, we, we could send the drone out there rather than have our guys climb the building 
you know, go up the building or go up in the bucket truck or a lift to see what's going yep. on. And now I don't uh, know how long it takes to train on how to fly a drone, <laughs> but yeah. it might be something you want to look into with your business or even at least having a drone guy out there to yeah. film on those larger installs and like high rise stuff. It's really. I think CJ must have been doing it since he was like one, <laughs> as amazing as he is. And I, it's incredible. And the crazy thing was where CJ is now flying that drone. That dude's sitting up in his Camaro yeah. in the air conditioning, and he takes the drone, he puts it up on the roof of his car, and takes off. It goes right up there, filming everything that's going on. Man. We're watching the film in the air conditioning. He comes back down, lands, lands it right on, on his roof. roof, reaches out there, grabs it, pulls it in the car, <laughs> never has to leave the air conditioning. Yeah. Freaking crazy. That's a nice car, too, though, right? Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, that badass car, we wrapped that, yes, of we course. Did. But, yeah. You know, he told me that new drone he has, three miles. Three he, mile he range. He take that drone out three miles and back. I was like, it's amazing. He can sit there flying that thing for me. Crazy stuff, man. It. The cameras are getting smaller. The cameras are now 4K. Like, mm -hmm. really great technology. The battery uh, technology is getting better. They yep. last longer. But yep, yeah. yep. And you guys check it out, man. Drone footage. Might want to look into doing that. Yep. Isn't this show supposed to be on our sign stuff? Oh yeah. Are, oh, yeah. What happened yeah. with the sign? CJ's got his own YouTube channel, man. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, after all day, that sign came loose and down to the ground she came. Thank God. I mean, look at that. We were standing here eight years ago putting that thing up, and to see it come down was that's really something special. All right, now it's time for our guys here at the shop to go to work. And they have a lot of work to do to get this thing refurbed in a month. Good night. I wanna, can we take a minute to see how big this sign is? I mean, good night. This thing's giant. I think it's 12 by 32, yeah. something like that. <laughs> it's a beast. But eight years, and we got this Matthews paint that's getting a little fade on it now. We got 3M dual color uh, film here. The 3M Gold, I mean, it's not that bad. Yeah. It's just mm -hmm. time for a refresh. All right, guys, make sure you stay tuned for the next couple episodes while I walk you through this project, and make sure you subscribe. And thank you for watching the Media One Raptus YouTube channel. Hey, Rick, this is kind of high up here, man. Can you help me down? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>